You know, some new disturbing numbers show that even teens are not safe from the opioid epidemic. So here with more on really how do you talk with your teens about this all, to talk about how to address it and about a new partnership. We have uh, Dr. Chris Tomshack from Health Source. Good morning. Oh, good morning. Thank you so much for being here to talk about this. Some of these numbers, I'm going to read them off to you here so you guys at home can hear what we're talking about. Uh, drug overdose deaths among 15 to 19 year olds rose 15% among males and 35% among females just in the last few years. Just actually just in the last year and it shows no sign of slowing. The trend is actually beginning to escalate even further even with the you know the news that we're seeing surrounding this topic. It's seem it's it, it, it's it's counterintuitive but it's seemingly getting worse right now not yeah. better. And the thing is, we know there's a big, you know, epidemic, especially here in Ohio, big oh. opioid epidemic, but you never really hear about it when you're talking about young people, teens, uh, some of them as young as 12, you were saying? Yes, the, st the, the stats that we're, that we're quoting go from you know, a 12-year-old to a 19-year-old. Yeah. And, and as we were talking earlier, the rate of, uh, of opioid deaths among female teenagers is increasing at a clip of 15%, uh, 35% yeah. per year. And with males, it's 15% per year. And Why? continuing to increase. Why? Yeah. Well, it's 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 part cultural, uh -huh. and and another reason is because of the um, there's so many opioid prescriptions that are given out. You've, you've, what we've got to remember is that 57 percent of the teenagers that get a hold of opioids, they get them from a friend or relative. Mm. Only 22 percent is getting them from uh, typically a sports injury doctor or a dentist for dental procedures, and then the rest are from parties and so forth. But yeah. that's where it is starting. We need to have we need to have tough conversations with frank conversations with our teenagers letting them know that these drugs opioids are not safer than the other illicit drugs as a matter of fact in most cases they're significantly and exponentially worse they're far more addictive and destructive so that's the thing a lot of parents first off may not even be aware that that's becoming a growing growing problem with teens that's right so then how do you address it with them okay well first off let's investigate the house yeah. so let's look at the house and let's take a let's see are there unused prescriptions if there are let's dispose of them and dispose of them properly yeah. so get them out of the house mm -hmm. so it's no longer even a remote temptation okay, and then secondly have that discussion let your kids know that the you know opioids are extra their their life destroying substances heavily and highly addictive and so those conver that conversation needs absolutely needs to take place and then third we have got to take Parents have to take a lead in their children's health care to ensure that you know, if they've got a sports injury or something of that nature, that they are not taking opioids to get over the pain. There are far more effective ways to do that than, than opioids. I mean, the American College of Physicians in 2016 said, enough of the opioids. Try things such as chiropractic, yeah. physical therapy, mm -hmm. deep tissue, things like that. There's better ways to do it without the addictive properties. Look for alternative ways. Yes. Really good, important information to put out there. I wish we could talk more about it because it's such an important yeah. topic. But I think what you said, I think, is really important. Start talking to your kids and start ta start talking to them early. Start now. Don't wait. Yeah. Start now. Thank you so much for coming in. Oh, you're very welcome. Appreciate it. Hey, we're gonna send things over to.